Hello there. My name is Mary, and I want to tell you about a story that happened many years ago in my hometown of Richmond, Virginia. It's a story that's not often talked about, but it's an important one nonetheless. So sit back, relax, and let me take you on a journey through time. It was the summer of 1863, and the war had been raging on for two long years. The people of Richmond were tired, hungry, and desperate for food. The Confederate government had promised to provide rations for its citizens, but as the war dragged on, those promises became harder and harder to keep. My family was no exception. We were lucky if we got a few scraps of bread each day. It was hard to watch my little brothers and sisters go to bed hungry each night, and we weren't the only ones. The whole city was suffering. And then, one day, the women of Richmond had had enough. They gathered together and decided to take matters into their own hands. They marched through the streets, demanding that the government provide them with bread. But the Confederate government wasn't about to give up their bread without a fight. They stationed soldiers outside of the city's bakeries to prevent the women from getting any bread. But we were determined to get that bread. So, under the cover of darkness, we snuck through the streets and into the bakeries. We took as much bread as we could carry and brought it back to our families. But the soldiers soon caught on to what we were doing. They chased after us, but we were too fast for them. We ran through the streets, dodging bullets and ducking into alleys. In the end, we were able to get enough bread to feed our families for a few days. It wasn't much, but it was enough to give us hope, and that hope kept us going through the rest of the war. And that's the story of the Richmond bread riots. It may not be the most glamorous story, but it's one that's important to remember. It reminds us that even in the darkest of times, people can come together and fight for what they believe in. Thanks for listening.